Next question is from Spretzel28. Is there any benefit in taking a non-stim pre-workout? So pre-workout that doesn't include stimulant. I'll tell you what. Try you do that more often than not, right? I, well, um, no, I do it these days because of the sleep, the stuff, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, caffeine. Yeah, before <laughs> yeah. before your son, I would He's say like, you, I'm on a Fedra now. Yeah. yeah, before your son, I'd say you almost always did nonsense. Yeah, or, so now and I Doug, do, I know is is also a Doug probably the most now. Yeah, he yeah. he requests that every time we try order. Legion non stim uh, pulse and tell me that you don't notice something. Now, is it going to be the same as taking caffeine? No, but uh, the compounds in there, you t- definitely notice a difference. In performance, there's other things you can do, by the way, to improve your performance that don't are not stimulant, like mm, drink drink more water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like before one. you work out, drink more water. If you're somebody who has a, a low carb diet or a low processed food diet, drink a f- nice big glass a I'm, bottle of Element. I was just gonna say I was gonna push to the. Oh element. yeah, yeah. Drink Element. Get that sodium in you because you you probably need it, and you, then go work out. Is it technically how to say? Because you say it all the time on the podcast. And I wonder how many people go online and go E L E M E N T. It's L M N T, but yeah, Element is what yeah, they're trying to say. L M N T is the company. Yeah. And so and but that reminds me why we're talking about this because we have a, a large YouTube audience. Uh, YouTube audience now that uh, didn't know about the show before. One of the easiest things. So we, we talk about so many things that we work with and partners if you go to google and go and google mind pump partners a link will pop up with every partner that we work with all the discount codes on anything so for the audience that doesn't know that one of the easiest ways to find it's on our website but you have to kind of dig and look for it easiest thing to do is google mind pump partners and any company that we work with or talk about pops i think some of the benefit by the way of taking something before you work out so uh, i'll tell you guys a story when i was a kid and i started working out i I was into supplements immediately i always thought it was this cool thing that could you know improve my performance and build muscle and i was always studying and looking for ways well anyway back in those days the only supplement this is what i'm talking about i'm 15 the only thing i had access to was in my parents' cupboard, and it was, uh, what was it? It was a vitamin C packet. I, emergency, I think it was called. You guys remember those? It was oh, like 1,000 yeah. milligrams of vitamin C. And I would take it before I work out. So, And, and I, I would definitely notice improvements in my performance. Now, it's not because vitamin C improves your performance. It doesn't. But it was the ritual of it. There's a lot, there's a lot to be said about ritualizing yeah. your actions before you work out. Mm-hmm. Taking something like a pre-workout or glasses of water with sodium, those actually have some benefits, but part of the benefit is also the ritual, like I'm preparing for this particular I, I would workout. almost make the case or argument that m- majority of the benefits of a lot of supplements is it's placebo. Is simply that. Mm-hmm. Is and I know this. The I know ritual. for my for myself, my clients like Oh, I'm spending two hundred and something dollars a month on all these supplements. If I'm taking all of them, I'm gonna be. Yeah. I don't want to waste them, so I want to make sure I'm working out. I want to make sure I'm eating better and stuff like that. So, I I think that a, a lot of the benefits that you see from a lot of well, that's how I feel, especially if you're asking about non-stim. Uh, to me, it's it's really it's a belief system we're talking about now. You know, <laughs> like like I believe this is gonna work for me, uh, unless you're like super deficient in some of those uh, nutrients. I don't understand like what that really does. Well, for did you, you now? Now, are, have you noticed? Because I know Adam did it, but have you noticed the LMNT? Are you taking? Oh, that the LMNT for sure. Because well, that's different because that should be deficient. Yeah. You should be that, very deficient in sodium, deficient and also yeah, like retaining a good amount of water to, to help. You I know, mean, we've talked about this on the show. Promote for, performance. By the way, by the way, time. real quick, sodium with creatine increases its absorption and utilization. Did you guys know that? I didn't. Know. I just oh, learned so that. So sodium is a, sodium with creatine will make you utilize more of the creatine. Oh, that's so you don't have to do sugar. You could do sodium. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've talked about this on the show for a long time that, you know, number one thing always is diet first with, with before supplements. Supplements are such a small percentage of, of your results. And then before you get into performance supplements, build muscle, burn body fat, whatever type of supplements, always addressing all the things, the essential things that you need, right? And non-essential even, like your macro, micronutrients. If you're deficient anywhere, and by the way, those are the cheapest ones, okay? Yeah, I know. To go pick up some vitamin D if you're lacking that, or C, or or B B vitamins. That stuff is cheap as fuck. So it's super cheap to get that stuff. And that that will do more for most people just by getting, true. getting what you need that your body was wanting from you to, to operate optimally. You'll get great muscle building, fat burning, health, energy, all those benefits from getting all that 
balanced than you will taking the latest, greatest fat burner, muscle builder supplement that's on the market. So, you know, I always say there for food first, then after you're consistent with your food, where is it that I lack, you know, and the so that's why I think the sodium is such a game changer for yeah, so many that's people. That's an essential nutrient. Because, you know, the point that you make that's so true is that if you go from somebody who eats out and then you go on to a diet and you make a, a new lifestyle change to eating healthier, just by you switching from eating fast food, which is crazy the amount of sodium that you get from from fast food. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's all all fast food, even healthy like Chipotle and stuff like that. If you eat out a super lot- Super high in sodium. Super high in sodium. And then all of a sudden you decide you're gonna start making your meals and making healthier, better choices. Even if you salt the shit out of it, it doesn't even come yeah. close to the amount of sodium they pack in it. So real quick, you can become somebody who's eating healthy, exercising really well, but not getting enough sodium. And you feel that stuff. I think that's why so why it's doing so well with this. I mean, LMNT is like for sure one of the the number one things, right? Which we would I would have never thought. I know. But again, you probably take it and you feel it. You, you know, feel I, the difference. I, I, what's so so funny too is that I'm sure you guys have experienced this. I've always recommended to my endurance athletes to add a little bit of salt to yep. the water because yeah. they all and notice. And, yeah, pink salt. Yes, and what's funny is I never applied it to myself. Yeah. You know, and now that I do, I'm like, oh yeah, of course. Well, yeah, because I always associated it with like endurance running or yes. like you know some kind of long winded workout. But like, yeah, if if you're eating that way, like clean, and you're trying to like focus on whole foods that aren't like processed or anything, it's you, it's a massive difference between what you're yeah. eating before to now. And speaking of micronutrients, uh, I supplement with you know five to ten thousand I use of vitamin D a day. I get my blood tested relatively regularly, mm -hmm. and my vitamin D right in the middle. So it's very interesting where as some people, we need more vitamin D and others not as much. I thought taking so much vitamin D at some point, I have to reduce it. No, I'm right in the middle and I take a shit ton of it yeah. all the time. And that's because I do, you know, blood tests.